Alright, so I've had quite the day, and I'm going to tell you about it. Started out with not really wanting to start the day at all. I mean, waking up, you know, you know, I'm not a morning person, you know, and I'm sure there's a lot of you out there. It's, it's not that, it's not the matter of the hour that I wake up, but, you know, whatever hour that I do wake up at, I'm going to want to stay in bed, whether it be 2 in the afternoon or like 6 a.m. I'm just one of those people that takes like, you know, an hour to get myself together, get my thoughts in place and actually be able to lift myself off my bed. So that's how it started out. Didn't really want to get up. And then I realized that if I didn't get out of bed, I would be in bed and in this room all day. Nothing scares me more than that. So I decided to get up I got in the shower. Supposed to meet some friends at like 11. Well, I didn't even leave my house until like 12. But they weren't too upset. Yeah, okay, they were upset. <laughs> and then, um, had some lunch, breakfast, whatever. That was way too spicy. Oh, I had this, okay, in, in, in Jakarta and in Indonesia, we have this sort of like um, meatball soup. It's called baso. I like spicy food. I'm not talking about like, you know, this is spicy, like, no. I'm talking about Tabasco in wasabi, spicy. Anyway, I was eating my usual spicy food and uh, what happens? Goes up my nose. That's right. Spicy sour soup goes up my left nostril. And so I'm trying to talk to people and I'm like, the whole time I'm like, uh, so yeah, um, so anyway, so I told, I told him that, you know, oh god, sorry. Well, like, my freaking eye is like watering. That was fucking hell. Anyways, that's the first mishap of the day. After lunch, like, uh, we went out and, um, I had a meeting. That's right. It's Sunday, ladies and gentlemen, and I had a meeting. Not only that, but I had a meeting yesterday as well. It's, people shouldn't have to do that on weekends. So, um, I had a meeting, which lasted from about three till five, six, actually, six. And that was a lot of, you know, and, uh, um, I basically just sat there, ate my sushi, and like, and willed time to go faster. Anyway. After that, a friend picked me up, and we went to go watch a movie. We watched, um, what's it called? The Day the Earth Stood Still with Keanu Reeves, which I had heard was a bad movie, but you know what? It, it's a pretty good movie. I, I mean, I got the message, you know, it hit home. I made me want to be like a vegetarian, which has nothing to do with the movie, but, you know, wanted me to like stop you know, all that industrial pollution. It's a good movie. And then, um, I went shopping. It's like my highlight. Afterwards, um, well, the movie ended about 11 o'clock, 11 p.m. And so by the time we got to the parking lot, it was deserted. So what my friend and I did was drift around the empty parking lot like it was Tokyo. That's right. We were, we were drifting quite a bit. Had a few near crashes. Was we were impressing some people, you know, like the other people that were in the movie with us that were leaving, like pulling in front of them, drifting around, like drifting around the parking lot, going to the other space. Lots of fun. I tried to capture it on my um, my phone, like my camera, and like it just wouldn't do it. All you can hear is me like laughing like a fucking idiot. Um, after that, uh, we decided to go to Kamang, which is a pretty good 24-hour sort of area here with like lots, lots of street food and stuff. Um, we went to Kamang and I wanted some nasi bakar. I apologize for those of you who don't know what I'm talking about. You don't know what you're missing. And when we get there, oh, they're all out. The people have closed. There's no food left. Um, yeah, we're gonna go home. Who's gonna take me home? We get to the car. What happens? It doesn't turn on. It did those, you know, the little. Eh, 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 eh. Yeah, the battery was dead. And my friend turns to me and he goes, Oh shit, I forgot. 
The battery is dead. Thanks, dude. What the freak? I would have just got out of the car and went home and let you deal with your own dead battery tomorrow morning. So we kept, we devised a plan. We would take a taxi back to his place, get the jumper cables, come back, jump start the car. He would drive one car back, I would drive the fucked up car back to his place, drop off the car, and he would take his second car to drop me off at home, and then he would go home. Um, thing is, Jakarta, Jakarta streets are like a swarm of wasps, angry, angry wasps at all hours of the day. If you've ever been here, you know what I'm talking about. It's either a dead stop or fucking, you're in the car and there's like 600 bikes swarming around your car like fucking trying to kill you and that's like aggravating and you know I'm not the world's best driver. I, I, I don't crash or anything but I mean it's just I don't handle that kind of stress well. I clench my ass together when I have to make a u-turn but um Seeing as it was like 1am, I didn't really mind. And, and then my friend decides to call me. He knows that I'm like a nervous driver. He decides to call me and like talk to me all the way driving back. And he's all chilling. I could hear a stereo. And I'm sitting there like, okay, I, I, you know, just, I, you know, like, God. And I'm trying to be cool, you know. And he's just like, everything all right? You driving okay? You're not doing such a bad job. You haven't crashed yet. And I'm like, yeah, thanks for the moral support, you dumbass. Ugh. Anyways, um, yeah, I did almost crash into a white BMW though because I, me being me, I had the phone here, and I was I had one hand on the steering wheel, and I was trying to change the radio station. I don't know why, but I was trying to change the radio station because it was giving me static and shit, and that just doesn't help my you know swarming fucking bikes plus static. So I was doing this. Wait, yeah, this. And I look up, and the thing is, when you have your head tilted like that, you know, your pers your perspective is kind of fucked up. And I see this BMW come, like, right at me in the middle of the street. He wasn't exactly driving that great. And so I had to do one of these. And I made it. Because I'm here. But that was scary. And I hear my friend like, whoa, ho, 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 what was that? And I'm like... Yeah. So it was a pretty eventful eventful night and uh, thankfully though things went according to plan. You know, we did the whole get the car come back and get your car and come back and drop you home. Um, but uh, I thought it was worth riding home about. Um, the drifting was really fun though. That's the most fun I've had in months. Which might say a lot about my life. But um, I've decided I'm gonna drive more because it's pathetic how much I panic. I mean, I drive all the time in Bali because the car I drive is like this big, it's compact, it's like a peanut. Um, anyway, yeah, that's pretty much my night. But, oh, what a night.